praise the lord hallelujah welcome again to our 15 friday 15 minutes podcast without data if you're watching me on whatsapp group hallelujah so we started a series of teaching this week from monday on the subject healing begins in your spirit and so far if you are just watching me and you need to watch me go to our youtube and then you'll see the series of teaching there but what we have been teaching from monday till now is one thing a woman had an infirmity that i, I took test from in luke 13 from 10 to 13 had an infirmity for 18 years that is too long a time for somebody, all he thinks of is a, in 18 years is sickness, 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 sickness. Tablet doctors, how to recover from the pain. 18 years, occupied a mind. That was too long a time. That was too long of a time. So when Jesus had an encounter with such an individual, Jesus Christ did not start by laying hands on her, as we saw in that Luke 10, 13. Because, why? Because healing does not start in your flesh. Healing starts in your spirit, man. So how do you minister to such a woman? Jesus Christ called her out of the crowd and spoke directly to her heart and made her to see that she had been healed. She has been loosed. Now, if the woman could imagine herself healed, then Jesus Christ cannot lay hands on her. So after that, Jesus now lay hands on her. The Bible said, and immediately, 18 years infirmity was was healed why because jesus know the right approach to it jesus knew the right approach the right approach is not to start with the laying on hands the right approach is to start from the spirit man because the spirit the, the healing begins with your spirit man so we left off uh, on wednesday from that luke 13 12 where i was asking the question how do you minister healing to a woman who had been sick for 18 years without first of all disabusing a mind of sickness 18 years is too long for a mind to be sick thinking only of sickness you need to start from the spirit if you desire a result like jesus did hallelujah so that's what we left off on wednesday so jesus christ called her to him in that luke 13 12 and, verse, and said unto her now said unto her that's not to her flesh said to her is not her flesh said to her is to her spirit man hallelujah and that's how the woman get here now let's let's push further now do you know why many believers lay hands on the sick and the sick died it's because healing doesn't start from the laying on of hands no it starts from the spirit man your own spirit now listen to this those of you that likes laying on our hands hands on the sick and you want to watch them here because the bible said they shall lay they shall take up serpents and if they drink any daily thing it shall not hurt them they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover yet the bible is correct jesus was right but why are you not getting results that is all what i'm saying now it's because healing doesn't start from the laying on our hands no, it starts from the spirit man. Your own spirit man who wants to minister healing to the sick cannot be empty all the day. Now, when I use the word empty all the day, I see preachers who do their normal job, who get busy with counseling, who get busy with uh, TV, who get busy with, uh, what do you call, with uh, with a Facebook, who gets busy with everything and all the rest of them, and then, and then, and then, uh, incidentally or coincidentally, they come in contact with somebody to, to to minister healing to, and they lay hands and they wonder why they are nothing happen. It's because your, your spirit man is empty. It's because I will, I will explain it. Just listen to this. I mean, so your, your your own spirit man who wants to minister healing to the sick cannot be empty all day all week and all months and now you are laying hands on the sick to be healed and you wonder why they are not well if you don't see people healed for a long time in your private time before coming to your meeting and lay hands on them physically they won't be healed do the Bible said you will lay hands on the sick and they shall be healed in Mark 16, 18. It won't happen. Now listen to this very carefully. Laying on of hands is a point of contact. 
laying on our hands. So why, God, why does God want you to lay hands on the sick? It's because it's a point of contact. There has to be a transmission. Something, listen to this, something must flow from you into the sick, like we saw in Mark 5, 25 to 34. The challenge is this, many people lay empty hands. The Bible said they will lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. What is the Bible talking about? It's talking about a point of contact. It's a point of contact. A point of contact for something to flow from your spirit man to their spirit man before it begins to happen in the physical. Hear what he said in that Mark 16, 18, if you are reading it. He said, they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Recover. Do you know what it means to recover? It means the healing does not start from your from their flesh. The healing starts from their spirit man. So why is God wanting you to lay hands on them? Because God wants you to transmit healing from your spirit man into their spirit man. He wants you to transmit healing from your spirit man into their spirit man. So, 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 so laying on hands is a point of contact. If I lay hands on you or you lay hands on me for healing, there's a transmission. Are you listening to me now? If my voltage is high than your own, it will go into you and, and, and destroy. Listen to me. If you connect, if you connect your generator to your house, your generator will give you electricity in your house. You agree with me? Yes. Now, if you connect your generator to your house and connect electricity from electricity generating from hydroelectricity, connect it through your generator that is still working. Do you know what it will do? It will blow off your generator. It will blow up because it's a high voltage compared to a generator. So if the heart of the sick is sick and your own heart is empty, you can't, you, they, they can't be healed when you lay hands on them. Now look at this. Look at this. Look at it in Mark 5, 25 to 34. And a certain woman which had an, an issue of blood 12 years and had suffered many things of many physicians and had spent all that she had and was nothing better but rather grew worse when she had the head of Jesus came in the press behind and touched. Look at those languages. Touched. Point of contact. Touched his garment. For she said, did you see that? Already in her spirit, her spirit was already communicating. There's a healing process going on already in her spirit man. There's already healing going on in her spirit man. For she said, if I may touch, look at that language again. Came in the presence and said, and touched his garment. For she said, if I may touch, but his clothes, I shall be whole. And straightway, the fountain of her blood was dried up. And she felt, she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. Did you see that? She felt it. In other words, there was a sensation in her physical body. Where did it come from? It came through a point of contact. Listen to me. If you touch electric wire that has voltage in you, you don't need to be told. Something will happen in your body. And do you know why it will kill you? Because it will destroy your heart. That's why it will kill you. It will destroy your heart. So, 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 so the woman felt in her body. And straight away the fountain of her blood was dried up. And she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. And Jesus immediately knowing in his head that virtue had gone out of him. Did you see that? Virtue went out of Jesus into the woman. So, so, so laying of our hands is not just a promise that we grab in the, in, the, in the Bible. It's not just a promise that we just claim in the Bible and went around laying hands on the sick. They won't be healed. Why? Because you see, laying our hands is a point of contact. Something must flow from your spirit into their spirit and then die into their body then they begin to recover. 
like Mo, like Mary says, my soul doth magnify the Lord, but my spirit half, half rejoiced in Luke chapter one. My soul doth magnify the Lord, but my spirit heart rejoiced. It has already happened in your spirit before it happens in your soul. If it does not happen in your spirit, it can't happen in your soul. So if spirit, if healing is not happening in your spirit man, it can't happen in your physical body. And, 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 and when you lay hands on the sick, you are actually transmitting something to them. So I'm still going to explain in this series to you what you need to do. Because many empty hands have been laid on many people. Many empty hands have been laid on me and people wonder, no, 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 listen to me. You, you, if you are going to lay hands, understand this. You are actually going to transmit something. And, and Jesus immediately knowing himself that virtue had gone out of him, turned him about in the praise and said, who touched my soul? Have you seen that language? Touch, 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 touch my soul. My clothes. And his disciples said unto him, thou said the multitude trunging thee, or the multitude touching thee. So you see, it doesn't just happen because people touch you, touching thee, and seest thou, who touched me? And they looked round about to see her that had done this thing. But the woman, fearing and trembling, know what was done in her. It was not in, done in uh, the body of the other person who was touching Jesus. Came and fell down before him and, and told him all the truth. And he said unto her, daughter, thy faith had made a whole. Go in peace and be whole of thy plague. Did you see that? Did you see that? Now, from this story, we, we, we will discuss something. It can be either, either ways. People must see themselves healed. When hands are laid on them, before hands is laid on them, in physical, like this woman in verse 28. For she said, if I may touch but his clothes, I shall be whole. For she said it. For she said it. So, you see, it can be both sides. It can be both sides. If your heart is merry and your heart is filled with healing, are you listening to me now? And then you touch a minister that also carry it in his heart, the healing will be very, very fast. Why? Because your heart is ready is the minister's heart is ready your heart is ready the minister's heart is ready so what happens healing will just take place so it's much better if it comes from both the person lay hands on the sick and the sick you must see people healed in your spirit man as a preacher before laying hands on them in the physical like solomon said in proverbs 23 7 i like this he said for as he thinketh in his heart did you see that healing must occupy your thinking it must be something you spend time thinking many preachers don't spend time thinking about healing they spend time they don't spend time thinking about healing and they want to lay hands on the sick and see them heal. It won't happen. For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. The result is he means that the result you are seeing in the physical is a product of your thought. Is a product of your thinking. Eat and drink, say it to be to, to thee. In other words, you tell the sick, be healed in Jesus' name. But his heart is not with thee. It can't happen. It can happen. If, if I've not spent my days, my weeks, and my months thinking, meditating on healing, and I just come like Pro has said in 23.7, be healed in Jesus' name. He said, eat and drink. What are you eating and drinking? Eat and drink healing. Say it today, but his heart is not with it. You won't get any answer. So you can ask people to be healed, and they won't be healed if your heart is not in the healing. This is where meditation comes in. Long before lay hands on the sick. If your heart is seeing the sick healed all day, week, month, before the lay, before the healing meeting, they be healed according to that Proverbs 23, 7. Therefore, as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. Eat and drink, set to he to thee, but his heart is not with thee. Your healing service is going to be, is to be a product of your thinking or what you come back or what you come back home with 
after hands is laid on you is a product of your dominant thought all day week or month god bless you i'm not out of series yet but i'm already out of time so meaning that we will continue in our monday podcast on our series of teaching healing begins in your heart god bless you i will see you in our monday podcast